Okay, let's try to um, install the MetaTrader app on your iPhone. So go to the app, app, app Store and let's look for MetaTrader 4. MetaTrader 4. And this is it here. This is the one I want, not the ad. Just a basic MetaTrader 4. I want to get it. And so we wait for that to download. Once it's downloaded, we can then open it. I want to allow. You can choose not to allow. Okay. And you can see straight away that we have been a new account has just been opened for us. But I want to I want to actually set up one um, for for myself. So I want to go new account and I want to go open a personal demo account and I want to search for a server. Just type in Insta Forex. And we want to go for the demo and the name is we can I want to go okay and my phone number and then email I want a standard account. I want to leave it at 1 to 100. And let's just change that to 5,000. And we want to register. Boom. We now have a new account set up. A new demo account for InstaForex. And all I just do is then done. Right, so that's it. So here we you notice we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just nine currency pairs. We want to add more to it. And all we just need to do is go add and go to Forex Major, the first folder, add add those. You go back the crosses. I want to add more. Cross three. I want to add more. Now you can add or not add is up to you you can always do this at a later stage none of this now nope and um, you can add metals gold and silver and um, if you want it as well you can add cryptocurrencies but i'm just gonna leave it at this for now Okay, and you can see now we have it populated with all those ones. You can add more if you wanted. So you can either be simple showing you the price this way or you go advanced and it just shows you the bid and ask price. 
and at the bottom you can see these different tabs so you have the quotes the charts the trade the history and the settings so if you we are in the quotes now where you have this displayed then you can you can see the charts as well so we have the charts here you can have the trade so when you have trades open this is where you will have you will see the trades open trades and then also um showing your balance equity your margin and all that um and you can also go to the next one which is history so where you have closed trades whether they are profits or loss this is where you find them and then with settings you can have all the, the all the changes you want uh, within settings here you, you can also see your account details so let's go back to quotes so from quotes from quotes you can actually take trades directly from this point here and you can also open charts directly from this point here so let's go euro usd just press and hold and you can see you have the options to either trade or go to the chart or just see the details of that currency pair so if you go trade that takes you to this point where you have the opportunity to execute trades um, either buy or sell or um, ask the broker to to on at a future future time to to fill you in into a trade but we'll go into those details later but let's go back to quotes or from quotes as well press and hold you can go charts and that gives you the charts now within the charts here you can you can see up here remember this is euro usd you can where you have h1 is where you have the time frames so you can change this from to different time frames right now is on the one hour h1 is one hour time frame and you can change it to h4 you can also change it to d1 All right the cross there is a cross hair so you can see look at your chart if i click on the cross hair you can see the cross hair has appeared on the chart and i can move it up and down so it helps you to to be able to pinpoint price points so if i want to measure this high point here so that high point there go with the horizontal with the horizontal horizontal line you can see i can place it there and just at the end of the chart you can see that the price is 1.1623 that's it as simple as that turn it off f is functions this is where you can add indicators so you can add it on the main window so something like a moving average you can choose a 10 period um let's go eight period moving average make it a simple moving average and apply it to the close leave it as red and done you can now see that there's a red line on the chart so that's how you add indicators onto the chart you can also add lines and all that um, from here. So if I wanted a horizontal line, I've just added a horizontal line now. Yeah. And that's it here. The horizontal line I added and I can You can change the properties here you can change it to to blue so if, and when you go back that should have changed to blue oh. save i didn't save and we can go to done and you can see it's blue now but i want to take it off i want to delete all objects and it's off okay and once the market is open we can then go into how to add how to take a trade so you can just go add plus sign there and it gives the opportunity to to take trades you can change the currency pair you can choose whether it's an instant execution or a pending order which is a buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop the IML Academy has got all the all the lessons on these various orders. So instant execution or market orders, 
or pending orders which will either be buy order sell order buy limit sell limit and we will see the rest later okay that's it for now um if you have any questions just um send me a text or an email and um yeah i will be uh, i will come back to you with some answers all right until next time you take care cheers